Boom! What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about Lucid ticket symbol LCID. Boy, oh boy, did Lucid come through for us. Um, this was a swing trade that I actually told you guys to get into here on the channel and the stock has just been printing. So I want us to talk about it and talk about when we take profit and see if we can leave some of this to run again. So uh, again, that's what we're gonna cover into this video. But before we get started guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So Lucid again guys, uh, we, we've gone through this in like two weeks. Uh, first step was I told you guys that the, the stock price was going to pull back um, massively. That happened. It went down to maybe about even $15 and I was screaming. I said buy, buy, buy. And then I told you guys again that this stock was going to pop because there's a catalyst that's coming up. But I didn't think it was going to pop this fast. So uh, the reason why I think it popped faster than I anticipated was because uh, I was anticipating that uh, next week, um, September 27, when they open their factory to um, all other businesses or media people to come in and see uh, what they are working on, um, they went ahead and actually did their EPA review, which actually said Lucid has uh, a range of 520 miles compared to Tesla, which is about 400. Uh, I mean, like that was insane, beating Tesla by over 100 miles. So that is uh, probably what came in the middle and pushed the stock because my anticipation was that uh, this stock would move to maybe about 24, 25, and then kind of just hang in there. Next week, it's gonna pop up to maybe around 28 to 30. Um, but that was my plan. But Lucy never actually uh, stuck to that plan. Lucy had other plans. So if we can jump right in here. I'm going to show you guys exactly uh, what happened here. Let me bring up the charts here so you guys can actually see. Um, so this is Lucy. Again, open up the day. See, sitting right here at about $24 to open the day. And from there, Lucy squeezed to a high of close to $28. It came so close. It was 20, I think $27.95 or so. So close to hitting $28. Um, and then this is after hours right here. The, the this uh, gray area is after hours. So it pulled back a little bit after hours, but still sitting at about $26 and some change. So again, that's like $2 and some change for the day. But if you if you're somebody that was trading, this thing got close to $28. Bucks. So the question is now, what do we do moving forward? As far as the game plan, when should you take profit? Um, again, for Lucid, um, my, my anticipation, again, like I said, I, I was hoping for this thing to hit 28, between 28 and 30. So if you went in a position, if you, let's say you bought 100 shares, um, it got to 20, almost 28 today, I'll say at least you should have secured maybe 25% uh, of your position, take some profit there and then um, see what happens. Because if it squeeze again and then break that 28, because if it breaks 28, 30 is right there for rush. So if it breaks 28, we'll see 30. So uh, take 20, maybe 25% of your position right here, secure some of that profit and then um, hang on and see what happens. Again, if it gets to 30, you take another 25%. But again, you should have a stop loss. That's always key. Because if you got in at say 19 bucks and this thing is all the way to uh, let's say 28, you should have a stop loss that secures at least some good profit. Give it some breathing room because right now we're seeing that breathing room is somewhere about $2. So if you're sitting at 28 and then put your stop loss around 26, uh, if you got in at 19 or 20, put your stop loss around 26. Um, give so you give it some breathing room. You don't want it to just bounce back uh, to 27 or 27 uh, 50 and then kick you out unless you're day trading able for a swing trade you Give it some breathing room So put your stop loss about 26 and then slowly move that if it goes to 30 then you want to be sitting at 28 um, just like that. So um, Lucid again guys is um, on a tear um, the reason again that I see this happening is because of that news that they beat uh, Tesla with their range 520 to be exact. So next week, um, again, I'm not sure how this is going to translate into next week because 
Um, I didn't want this pop to happen before next week. I wanted next week to be the reason why it popped. So now that the momentum is really out there, uh, one or two things could happen. Next week, um, it could be flat because people already, uh, you know, been talking about the stock. So next week could be flat or next week can even push the thing to 35. Um, that's, that's a possibility. But again, guys, um, trading, you have to know how to manage your risk because all this is again is speculation here. Uh, I was anticipating again uh, one thing and Lucy gave me another thing all in a positive direction, which is what we always want. So uh, be smart about this one. Uh, secure some profit because this is not the end of it. This stock is still going to pull back. Um, after this whole thing is over, you're going to see the stock slowly pull back to where it's been trading uh, between that $21 and $25 price point. Again, I'm super excited about this. Uh, if you're trading, if you're swing trading it, secure that profit. If you're not securing the profit, you know what that makes you, right? A greedy savage. So secure profit. Again, don't go in the trade blindly. Go in the trade with a game plan. Know when to take your profit. Write it down. Um, I don't know your, your profit taking strategy. If you're doing percentages, they say, okay, uh, first leg, if it gets to 26, I take 25%. It gets to 28, I take another 25%. If it gets to 30, 25%, and then I have 25% left. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let that ride and you'll see where it goes from there. So have a strategy for uh, getting out of the trade. So that would be uh, my advice to you. So basically, I just want to talk about this real quick so that um, for those of you guys that are looking to get into the stock right now, guys, this is not a good time. I'm going to tell you again, if you miss out on buying those bottoms, wait for the stock to come back to you. Because if you are buying right now, you're simply chasing. And I could be wrong. You could get up tomorrow and this thing squeeze all the way to 30. But I personally would not want to buy when it's squeezing up. Unless you're day trading. Because if you day traded the stock today, you would have made some good money. If you bought that 24, it went to 27.90. Uh, that's a spread about three dollars and ninety cents. So you'd have made some good money. But if you are looking to swing it, um, now is not the right time because if you do anything right now, you're basically chasing. And don't be a chaser. That's pretty much what I can tell you. So uh, be very, very careful for those of you guys that are still looking to get um, into the stock. So there you go, guys. That, again, that's my take on this. In again, like I said. Lucy has some room um, to run. Hopefully next uh, week uh, when they open their, their factory to the media people, they can actually spread the word and the stock price will probably pop. And you might see a pre-market or um, as soon as the market opens, uh, you'll see a spike. And then when people are just like, oh, this is it, and the stock price might go back down. Or it could be like, whoa, this is, this is, we've never seen anything like this. Tesla, it cannot even measure up to this. And then you see the stock price can get all the way to 35. But again, those are the things where you have to be able to manage your risk. It's secure the profit that you have right now with a stop loss. If I mean, if not anything, secure that profit first before chasing uh, the next big thing. So that's what I wanted to cover in this video. If you're new here, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Uh, if you actually did the swing trade, guys, I want you to leave a comment below um, what your entry price and your potential exit price. I want to see what you guys are, are doing out there. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.